All right, welcome back to LearnWire. This is going to be my AppSumo monthly roundup for the month of April. Now, as it's May 1st, but this is a great day to get this done because I'll be going over all the applications that I reviewed specifically on AppSumo. I know I review apps outside of AppSumo, but the majority of the apps are AppSumo related. And then I'm also including, because I did not get to do a March roundup, so I'm actually including all of those tools that I've reviewed over the last eight weeks. So we're going to jump in real quick. So this is my April roundup. So what apps did I review on AppSumo this month? So there was actually a total of 13. You can probably cut that in half for the amount of apps that are true, truly new to the platform in the last four weeks. But again, in this one, it's going to be just all of the apps that I've reviewed since the last roundup. Okay. So 13 is pretty good, but we had Minvo, right? And Minvo was a software or is a software that is much like Opus Clip. I think there's another software called Munch or something like that. And basically it allows you to take long form content, upload it to the application, and then it's going to split it up into bite-sized chunks for ready to post on places like Instagram and TikTok and so forth. So short form content that is nine by 16 and it's ready to be uploaded for short form. So it's gonna take your long form and turn it into short form content. Uh, so it's an automation tool and so forth. It's very much if you want something that is similar to it, it's Opus Clip has been around a while. I actually pay for that tool as well. And it, it does a really good job. I thought Minvo was pretty good. I gave it a 4.5 stars. There's a couple there was a couple things missing with most of these tools there's going to be I'm going to find some things that are missing about the tool when they launch. But overall, I was impressed with Minvo. And I definitely think that it is a I think that the one thing that stood out at the time that I recorded it, and it has been over four weeks, was that when I up uploaded my long form widescreen or what 16 by nine videos like YouTube videos, it did not make them into full screen nine by 16, if that makes sense. And Opus Clip does that. So that's something that I wanted Minvo to be able to do because I don't, it really shrunk down. It still showed the whole screen, but it was only taking up about a third of the screen and it's going to be harder to see and so forth. They, I think that they have some things that they need to adjust, but overall Minvo was impressive and I think it is a good alternative to Opus Clip. Now, going into May, there is a tool that came out that is similar to Minvo and Opus Clip. So I'll be doing a review on that. You want to make sure to stay tuned to LearnWire. Make sure to subscribe because then I will bring those reviews to you. And hopefully if Minvo stays on AppSumo, then I'll do a Minvo versus that other tool. I actually don't know off the top of my head what that other tool is, but it is a similar related tool. So I'll try to do a versus as well because they're just very much alike tools, right? So I gave this a 4.5 stars. It was really good, solid, worth purchasing. We had keyword gap, right? I'm trying to pull kind of notes or what I remember about doing the keyword gap uh, review. I gave it a three stars. There was nothing really that was impressive about it. Oh yeah, keyword gap was the tool that was created and launched by the same creators of Writer Zen. And the entire time I just was feeling just, I thought it was, it was missing a lot of uh, pieces and you had to do a lot of things manual in order to use the tool. And I just was it was just a confusing tool to say the least. And so uh, I just didn't see where it actually, what, like what the point of the tool actually was. Was it a keyword research tool? Was it a, an AI writing tool? What was keyword gap? And it just didn't make any sense because I had a hard time looking at it from a new tool standpoint because over here at the, we're Sumo Wings, right? We know the tools that have been on the platform and Writer's End was at a really awesome tool that was launched a, a few years ago. And they just came back and there was the same kind of development. It looked like it was writer's end, but it was just, it was like writer's end, but missing like 80% of the features. So there was just uh, something about it I didn't like. And uh, I was generous giving it a three stars, not really a recommended tool. So Rankify, this was, I believe the only one star rating on this list. And if you watch my channel, I really don't, but probably happens maybe one out of 30 tools where I actually will rate something a one star. So it's gotta be pretty bad. And I just did not, I wasn't impressed. The content quality was bad. The image quality was bad. The formatting was bad. And in, in, in today's era, right, of 2024, you we have to be even more picky about our AI tools. Nonetheless, that AI writing tools have been out for about four years, since 2019, 2020, when we really started tapping in. Those are your word hero days and so forth. But now we're looking at this, when you're coming 
to the market in a in an era where all most AI sites have been just take Google, you have to be really picky about using an AI writing tool these days and what it's going to provide for you. So Rankify just had that old feel from a few years ago, and then it was definitely not going to give you content that's going to actually help you rank your website. For me, I think it's just going to help you penal get penalized. And I just gave it a one star. I don't hand those out lightly. It really does have to be a pretty just lacking software for me to give a one star. So I believe that's the first, only one star. And it's the first one star I've given in a really long time that should carry some weight. The pin generator, I gave it five stars and I was impressed with pin generator because I did this uh, traffic wave or wave traffic review. It was a, I believe it was a warrior plus uh, review. It was a decent tool to be honest, and it would get the job done. You're talking about paying 17 bucks for a tool and it does, I did auto produce pins and then it, you but what you had to do with that you had to download a spreadsheet and then upload that to pinterest so there was a couple extra steps right but overall that, that was a pretty good tool i liked it but then you guys told me to go hey there's a pin generator on AppSumo. you should go check that one out so then i did like literally the next day i came and i checked out pin generator and i put it to test and i got i actually got views and started getting results very quickly within a few days with pin generator i believe pin generator was a great tool and was the definition of automation, it created pins, and it automatically posted them to Pinterest. And that was what separated pin generator from the other one tool is that you were able to just push buttons schedule, and then it would just go and schedule. And I ran a full campaign of a week, and it dispersed all of those scheduled pins. And then I was able to even show you results that it, I was starting to get likes on my pins and impressions and so forth. So overall, pin generator was really good. I liked the tool. And I could definitely recommend it if you uh, want to get into Pinterest and try to get traffic to your websites using Pinterest. So we had Catalyst AI and I gave it a five stars. I did a follow up video on it as well. I started getting more creative on how we could create uh, unique videos with it, perhaps start publishing this to YouTube shorts, Instagram reels or TikTok. Uh, now Catalyst was very uh, impressive to me. It was a storyboarding software. So the reason that the software is created is more for like movie creators, storyboard creators, and where you need to tell a story and then get some visuals behind it and so forth, right? And you could present that in front of a board or in front of a, a, a team, or if you're trying to pitch a story, a movie or a book or something like that, then you would be using it for that purposes. I was thinking outside of the box because I'm a video content creator. And so I was thinking of it, how could we use this tool to create videos? And that's what where I did that follow up video catalyst, even with it just being the storyboarding software, the unique things you can do with it outside of that and get creative. I've already continued to get emails since I signed up for that about the changes that they're making. They're adding team collaboration. They're, they're con they recently emailed me this week about that you can now do custom characters. So they did have a nice a library of avatars or custom of characters that you can use. They're realistic, right? But now you can actually create your own. Maybe I'll have to do a video follow up on that if you want me to do another video and test that out let me know in the comments below this one definitely was a five star as well. So then we came into Marky. I gave Marky a 4.5 stars. I thought that the UI was really good. I thought it was just a very smooth user interface and I like the setup and I, you could tell it was high quality. You could tell it has a good team behind them. It was missing some functions and some things that I would like. And then the biggest reason why I gave it a 4.5 and not a full five is because it didn't have Pinterest. Now, since then they could Going on going forward because of all the things that happened with the Google algorithm and people lost traffic overnight from Google, people are starting to, to diversify their businesses and getting traffic to their websites. They're no longer going to be trusting or relying 
on Google and Google rankings and Google traffic. And Pinterest is one of the, the, it's been around for a long time and it's always been known for being able to send traffic to your websites and it is valuable, valuable traffic and it can be buyer traffic. Again, that's why I gave it the 4.5. It was missing Pinterest. But other than that, I was impressed with Marky and I liked it. And that was a, Marky was a social automation tool. So then we went into Pouncer AI and I gave this five stars. I was just impressed. And if you know anything about freelancing or working on Fiverr or working on Upwork and selling services and trying to reach out and get hired for different jobs and so forth, it can be time consuming. And Pouncer AI just did a brilliant job at making a tool that is a very useful tool that if you use it correctly and you want to be uh, offer services on Upwork and be a freelancer, you could become an expert at using that tool. And it's going to allow you to f- probably 5x or 10x the amount of jobs that you can actually put in for. And I believe that it's a tool that can actually lead to you getting more sales, more uh, jobs on Upwork. The tool was well developed. It had all the features that you would want. They can came to launch. I like when a tool comes to a platform like AppSumo and they are ready to go. They have a really good MVP on their software and they have a good UI. Um, It's easy to use and it can actually move the needle in some way in your business. Pouncer AI really stood out to me and that's why I gave it a five stars. So the Sidekick browser, I gave it a 4.6 stars. I thought it was impressive. I thought that it it could do some really cool things for you. I do know that some of you had left in the comments section I can't remember what it was called, uh, but you guys did leave me a similar tool that is also a browser that's like Sidekick that you said that was even better than that. So that's cool. I still yet to check it. I think you said it was the Arc browser. Yeah, I believe it's Arc browser. I'm going to go check that out. I'll probably do a review and so forth at some point on that as well. But I did like Sidekick. It was a good solid uh, tool that I definitely could recommend and I could see myself using the tool. It was a unique browser that you'd be able to set different websites and so forth as applications. And so you wouldn't have to have be boggled down. You guys always see me with a 50 plus tabs open at once. It starts getting pretty ridiculous. And then be what I, what you guys don't see is that I also have multiple windows open with multiple tabs open as well. And it may seem like it's an, or, an, an unorganized way of doing things. I promise I start off organized, maybe working on one YouTube channel per window. And it just starts getting out of hand when you start opening up all kinds of different websites and you're getting your affiliate link here and doing all kinds of different things, opening up Canva to do your thumbnails and just it just starts blowing up the amount of tabs that you are getting into. And I think Sidekick does handle that and solves a lot of that. So I definitely would recommend it. We've got Follower and I don't know how long, honestly, this has been on the AppSumo platform, if it's only been a couple months or if it's actually been on there for a really long time and I just got to it. But nonetheless, I did with in the last week, eight weeks did get 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 my review uh, going on follower. I believe I purchased the maybe the tier one, I think, or tier two. No, I think I upgraded to tier two because the AI credits were pretty um, were pretty bad. Like you would do a few posts and it would take up your 20,000. They since then fixed that to an extent they did fix that. And then it's a little bit more generous. It doesn't take as many credits to do things. I, so I believe I upgraded to tier two. So I definitely, this is a tool that I purchased. I gave it a 4.5 star. There's some uh, quirkinesses to the the user interface. While I like the UI and I like how it's easy to find things, there's some things as well that that I think could be improved. But overall, it functioned really well. And as a matter of fact, today I was uh, posting to TikTok and Instagram and I actually uploaded my video to there. And one thing if you know about uh, publishing to TikTok is that I've tried to do automation. I've tried to schedule from the um, browser, like from a computer, and then you end up getting zero views. There's something super weird about it. Now, TikTok encourages you to to publish and upload from a computer, or they wouldn't have the ability to do all those things. And you can actually schedule uh, on a computer. But I've tried those things in the past, and you end up getting zero views. There's just something that blocks or locks you when you do that. And I've tried a couple other social, like, trying to automatically publish and I've had bad luck. Today, I actually 
used follower. I uploaded my nine by 16, a real video, right? And I, um, automatically had it scheduled to go to Instagram and TikTok. and believe it or not, they both got views right away. So, um, there's a really good sign that if you want an auto poster, then follower would be really something to look at for sure. But you would actually be able to schedule out your TikToks and your Instagrams and Facebook and Twitter and um, all those things. Follower overall, very functional. I like it. Context Minds, I gave this a 3.8 stars. I had to, my own bias was just, I give it like a three star, right? I just wasn't impressed. It's not a tool that I would really use, but I'm setting aside my own personal bias towards the tool. Just maybe I don't like the way that it mind mapped, or maybe I don't like the fact that I had chat GBT when I would really like it to just be hooked up to an actual keyword tool that I know has actual traffic data and that people are actually searching for those two terms. So those are some of the things, but just looking at it and imagining what this could do for someone if they do like mind mapping and so forth, I had to put those in and even trying to be unbiased about it and just giving it a solid score. It definitely is not like a terrible tool by any means. We've seen a lot worse. It just was not, a, it was not a five star or even 4.5. So I gave it a 3.8 stars. It's worth looking at. It might be a tool for you. Go check it out. But it just wasn't a tool for myself. Vidboard AI. I gave this one a 2.5 stars. Many of you actually said that I was being generous. So it should have been a one or two stars. I actually agree with you. But in all fairness, I gave it a 2.5 stars. You probably could use it. And I believe that the owner and creator of Vidboard did leave a long comment on my video about the basically explaining everything that they're going to be improving this that I used a bad image on my but at the end of the day it just it was missing so many things coming to a ma major platform like AppSumo you should be like 70 to 80 percent there and I believe that I, I, we're just like at 50 percent there you just, just got the feel everything you wanted to do or tried to do with the tool it just didn't work you couldn't even download your videos or get your video library you had to get the you get it emailed to you and then even the using their avatar and that's where it really comes down to i used a custom avatar it didn't look good but even using their avatar and their um, robotic voices and so forth it's just not something i would ever use if i was a company and i was trying to make an hr video or a training video i would feel embarrassed using that and then it's not something i would want to try to build youtube channels around or tiktoks around or anything so i just could not see myself using vidboard so Breeze Doc, this was a little bit different tool than I normally review. And keep in mind that I want to start expanding the kind of tools that I'm going to be reviewing. I want to do more productivity tools, team management and project management tools, and tools like this Breeze Doc, because I think that I need to start broadening a little bit more. AI writing softwares is a little bit challenging. It's just not, it's not the thing anymore. A couple of years ago, there was or even within the last year, there was a, a new AI writing tool every day, practically. Since the algorithm changed, things are changing. And you guys see how hard I'm being on these AI writing tools. It's not really what I really want to review right now anyways. And so I want to expand and start looking at some of these other tools that can be very useful for bi uh, small business owners, large businesses as well. And BreezeDoc fits that bill. It basically is a perfect example of what a lifetime deal software should be. It basically is a perfect alternative to DocuSign, right? DocuSign is, is it's expensive, it's $50 a month or more. And it's what real estate agents use and online coaches and businesses to send over to get contracts signed and so forth. And then you sign it and then every, and it works great. But DocuSign worked very similar. And I can only see them just going up from, uh, from what I saw their baseline was already a very good MVP with the software. So I gave it five stars. It was very sim simple software. But it just it got the job done. And it did the run. It, it worked and it functioned. And I believe that you would be able to not use DocuSign and use BreezeDoc. And that's the true definition of a, an, a true alternative. So I gave it five stars. I really liked it. And then we had Wonder AI. I gave Wonder AI five stars. I honestly was not that this would be a software that I would be giving uh, four or five stars because I felt like in a sense, I was like, okay, here we go again. Now let's go instead of spamming the internet with AI content, let's go and now start spamming it with 
products on Etsy and Printify and Shopify and made with AI and was just spam it with hundreds of with items right now this tool will allow you to do that but I think that the I was just very impressed it was one of the most techy builds that I've seen in a software in in doing this for three or four years it definitely stood out as a software that you could tell that this took some crazy development to put together and I think that if you handle it right and you take it serious and you do care about quality and you work on your prompts and so forth, you get everything hooked up right, I believe that this software, Wonder AI, could be a game changer if you use it correctly and it could actually make you money. So I was just impressed with Wonder AI. It was just very impressive to me. So here are my top three favorites for the month. And this is going to be just out of all those that I reviewed. Number three was pin generator. I actually tested it, got results, started getting impressions, started getting likes on my pins and so forth. So it actually worked. It created the pins for me and posted them for me. It, it doesn't get much better than that. Pouncer AI, uh, even though I'm not actively selling services on Upwork, I have hired a lot on Upwork. I've sold services on Fiverr. So I do know a thing or two about that and that platform and so forth. And I think Pouncer AI is a perfect tool for tens of thousands of people that sell services on on Upwork. And I do think that this was a tool that was just straight up a very useful tool that could help you make money in your business. So I was and I thought it was very unique. It was a very unique tool. It wasn't just another AI writing tool, or another social media automation tool. It was something that we've never seen hit AppSumo before, which was a, a helper tool using AI, but it helps you get more jobs on Upwork as a freelancer. So it can help you build your freelance business I loved it. It was awesome. And then number one was Wonder. You guys just heard what I said a couple minutes ago. I was just truly impressed with Wonder AI. That when I logged into it, the it just screamed quality. All of the tutorial videos that they put through, you could just tell that they put a lot of thought into the tool. Uh, I want to check it out some more. Not sure I want to get into that type of business, but I definitely just thought it was one of the most unique tools as well. Pouncer AI and Wonder, they made it to the top list because they got five stars. I believe all three of these tools got five stars, but Pouncer and Wonder were just very unique tools that came to the to AppSumo that I don't think I've seen before. So I was very impressed with those. Five out of the 13 apps I gave five stars to, and then four out of the 13 apps I gave four stars or above, right? So between four and five stars. And then four out of the 13 got below four stars, including one app was a one star and that was Rankify. So if there are any AppSumo apps you want me to review, leave them in the comments section of this video and I'll try to get to them in this next month. I appreciate your time on this roundup and I'll see you in the next video.